Right, sir. <laughs> Solstice 2, you've got a sequel. Yes, man. You've got Don't. a sequel. How about that? Don't. That's a great thing. Now, this is uh, Victoria Park, Leicester, Saturday the 20th of June. The only UK live date of the year, I'm being told. Is that true? Yes, that's Absolutely, true. the only the one. Return. We toyed with Solstice, Summer Solstice 2, The Return, a bit like, <laughs> yes. a bit like Jaws. We toyed with that. Yeah. Yeah, um, man. I mean, as soon as we did it, we was like, we've got to do that again. It feels like 2020, six years is the, you know, anyone that was there, the myth, the legend is all, you know, it's been out and everyone's, you can't miss it. So it's like, now's the time, you know, and it's like, it just, it was we needed to do something uh, so it was like well let's just do that. let's do that again you know it was great I was looking at it last night when it was announced and the first thing that happened on all the social media I have was we've booked a house for 18 we're coming down from Scotland yeah and it's just this pilgrimage of people coming that's down that's the beauty man and I mean, I, honestly yeah, yeah well, listen exactly. Scotland ain't going to be at any major championships next year so we need something to look forward to and this is it there it is and Serge the, the line up as well you've got an incredible uh, support acts sorted out Sam Fender Easy Life and Inhaler as well how did that That's come about right. this time round? Um, do you know what? I, I, Sam Fender, I, I, he's got such a good voice, man. I like this. I really, I'm, I'm a, I can't wait to have a little beer with this dude and have a little yeah. chat because he seems like a nice fella. And I tell you what, he can't half sing. And I, I believe what he's saying. You know, I think he's got. He's um. He's get exciting time for him. And also, I think there's such a community sort of like there's such a a good vibe at our gigs I think he'll go I think he'll have a good night you know I think he'll have a special night definitely and there's a dead and similar thing with the Leicester thing yeah. with you and the rest of the family and he's got that Newcastle North Shields thing happen as well it feels like a yeah, good, good combination man. that's going to be good that for real anyway. so like, listen, it seems mad to think that it was 2016 when you did the King Power so by the time you that's take right. the stage I'll be four years which is kind of mind blowing and those four years I've no been, no 2014 was it 2014 the original. Oh God, it would have been the original Solstice. 2014, wouldn't it? God, yeah, six yeah, years. Yeah. Jeez. Six years, man. It's weird. I mean, do you feel like that with time? Because I certainly have this yeah, mad it's relationship. Yeah, it. It's just flying it's, by, isn't it? This last decade, this decade is, is disappeared. You got, you got to get your act together, man. It's going quick. <laughs> it's going. What are we quick. doing? I mean, that's the thing. I would judge it by gigs. footballers that we see, and like James Madison feels like a wee boy, doesn't he? No, I seen. Uh, I met Maris in a lift. And uh, obviously, when you see them from the stands, they, you know they're these men and they're these people that you go and sing their songs and celebrate their goals. And you meet them, and you go, "This just look just look like a little spotty kid." And you go, <laughs> "What is this?" Yeah. And you also, in your head, you still think you can play. Like, I still think if I, I was if if Brendan said, "Serge, can you play ten minutes?" Like, yeah, of course I can. No problem. <laughs> you could. And this is not the case. Well, maybe. But no, <laughs> honestly, I would not. You would just go, oh, I'm too old for this now. Uh-huh. I still think you do realise when you look bad in kits. <laughs> like, I don't think I could wear a full kit now. I think I'm past it. Oh, mate. It's, it's when you see the date of birth of a player coming on and it's like in the 2000s. I know, man. Think, oh, it's great. Mate, it's not good. Now, listen, about 20 feet from where you're standing right now, uh, I once witnessed Peter Crouch DJing very badly. He dropped Phil Collins at your wedding, cleared the dance floor. But if you're DJing, yeah. and I've seen it happen a few times, you know how to put a set together. What's your indie disco opener and your closer, Serge? Indie, it's an indie disco. Yeah. You can go comedy as well here. Know. Feel free to do something ridiculous okay. as well. Oh, okay. If it's an indie night, right, it's an indie night. We've got to go cigarettes and alcohol if it's an indie night. Yeah. And then if I'm going to close it, so it's got to be like a sort of a, a big sing-along uh I don't know, like Never Walk Alone or something? Ah, or like Hey Jude done. or something like that. Ah, that's a good shout, that's a good shout. Something I thought you like might that. have gone Underworld Born Slippy in that direction. Oh, that's not bad. But I'd, I'd slip that in the middle, mate. Yeah, yeah, fair. right enough. There's just the Kasabian encore strategy there. Put the big ones in the middle as well. Radio X.